A scientific breakthrough means it could soon be possible to engineer a crime scene. Researchers in Israel have managed to duplicate DNA evidence, which until now has always undermined any alibi. And for more on the implications of fabricating gene identities, let's join RT's Priya Schroeder in our Washington studio. So what more can you tell us, Priya? Thanks. Well, recently Israeli scientists have discovered that it's possible to fabricate certain types of DNA from blood or saliva samples. Now, according to their findings, they would be able to make a DNA sample exactly match a profile from a database without ever having access to human tissue. So what bigger implications could this have? What does this mean for our privacy? Now, DNA has always been a cornerstone in the criminal justice system. So now will law enforcement officials have to think twice before using DNA evidence in a trial? Well, joining me to discuss this is Gail Javit. She's the public policy uh, director at Johns Hopkins University. Gail, thanks so much for joining me. First of all, can you tell me a little bit about how exactly this works? Um, how could, could these scientists fabricate that DNA? Well, they were able, using laboratory techniques, to uh, take DNA, as you said, without access to a tissue sample and make it look like DNA from you or I. Mm -hmm. uh, using various complicated techniques. And where exactly could they get this DNA from to, to make, to fabricate it? A variety of places, uh, such as DNA stored by law enforcement. Uh, when they take DNA from a suspect, uh, they store it in a database. And would it be possible for them to maybe take saliva samples from a cup that you leave in a restaurant and fabricate that? Uh, that is a possibility, yes. As um, this technology for DNA uh, amplification, meaning making more and more copies of DNA, gets to be easier and less expensive, that is increasingly a possibility. And what exactly does this discovery mean? Should we be worried that if we put a cup down in a restaurant, someone can kind of steal our identity in some ways? Or Well, that, that is a possibility. Um, as we're sitting here, you and I are shedding DNA, and uh, potentially somebody could come along and collect it if they knew how to do that. Um, some people consider that abandoned DNA, um, just like you throw the cup away and you don't want it anymore. Uh, I think that a lot of people would be worried about that, though, having 